Welcome to this security awareness training session. Today, we'll be exploring information security and your roles and responsibilities as an information worker within New South Wales Health. We're here to help you to understand why information security is so important and to prevent, detect and respond to security incidents and concerns. An information pack accompanies this video with policies and resources that you should familiarise yourself with. Please take the time to review this important information after the presentation. Information security encompasses all the ways that we protect our information assets from unauthorised access, modification or destruction. It also concerns the events that might disable or cause disruption to our business activities and service delivery. There are three pillars on which information security is built. Confidentiality, integrity and availability. Confidentiality is about making sure that only authorised users have access to information. This also includes the privacy of personal and health information as required by law. Integrity is about ensuring the information is accurate and complete. For example, we all expect that patient medical records will be accurate, but a lack of information integrity could have serious consequences for the patient. Availability is about making sure that information can be accessed when and where it's needed, and that all business applications and networks are accessible and functioning properly. So why do we care about information security? Because incidents do happen. Hackers and imposters make millions of dollars attacking computer systems, often by tricking an end user into helping them. Because you've been given access to the organization's systems, you are a potential target for anyone trying to break into our systems and facilities. Information you provide or actions you take may allow someone to steal information or maliciously disrupt services. In turn, this may impact on the ability to service our customers' needs. It may have financial and legal implications or may damage the reputation of the organization. As information workers within New South Wales Health, we are all responsible for information security. And this is in accordance with the New South Wales Health Code of Conduct and the Electronic Information Security Policy. Links to these have been included in the information pack. The term sensitive information covers a broad spectrum and includes things such as health records, passwords, architecture, design and build documents, tender documents, emails, as well as any personal information. Much of the information we deal with is sensitive, and that means it should only be available to those who have a genuine business need. Always understand the sensitivity of the information you're working with, and if you're uncertain about it, ask your supervisor, or refer to the Information Classification Labelling and Handling Guidelines. Here are some important practices to manage information security in your office environment. Remember to log out of applications when you're not using them. Lock your screen when you leave your desk, even for a short time. This protects you as you are responsible for any actions performed under your login ID. Portable digital devices can be easily lost or stolen, so always consider the information they hold. Sensitive information should not be stored on these devices unless it has been authorised and encryption is always recommended as a safeguard. Ensure that you collect hard copy printouts as soon as possible from the printer, fax or copier. Sensitive information should be collected immediately. When disposing of sensitive hard copy information, use the secure disposal bins located in your work areas. Sending sensitive information via email addresses outside of New South Wales Health can be easily intercepted. If you need to exchange sensitive information with any external parties, it is best to use the secure file transfer service. Because of the serious potential impact on services, installing unauthorised software or hardware is prohibited. This includes connecting any non-approved equipment to the network. Unauthorised storage, use or transfer of copyrighted material, including music, videos, images and software, exposes you and the organisation to considerable financial penalties. If you require software or hardware to be installed, contact the statewide service desk. Spamming, chain letters, inappropriate or offensive material should not be sent using health resources, including your health email account. Be cautious of emails from unknown senders, as they may be a phishing attack. 
These are emails carefully disguised and can appear to be legitimate. For example, there may be a link within the email which then connects to a fake website set up to steal information, or as an attachment which can infect your computer with malicious software such as a virus that could bring down the entire network. This kind of attack can cripple an organisation, and we've all heard examples of this, so please be aware. Be mindful that using your health email address when subscribing or posting to public forums and other non-work related websites can place your network identity and email account at risk. Information has value and some people will do all that is possible to obtain it. This often occurs in the form of social engineering where people masquerade as someone else in order to gain access or information. So you must always exercise caution when you provide any information. A seemingly innocent email, phone call, or a contact on a social network site may in fact be a form of social engineering. If you have any doubt of the identity of a sender or caller, do not give them any information. Instead, contact your manager or report it as a security concern. Never provide passwords or access to anyone unless you are authorised to do so or in an emergency or life-threatening situation. Whilst we all want to be helpful, people can be the weakest link in information security. You have a responsibility to yourself and others to make sure unauthorised people do not enter office areas. When you enter the building, make sure no one's taking advantage of the open door or tailgating behind you when you come in. To help identify staff and distinguish them from others, you should wear your photo ID badge at all times. Always make sure your visitors sign in and wear a visitors or contractors badge. And notify your supervisor or manager if you are suspicious of any strangers on site. On most systems, both inside and outside the workplace, all that stands between you and abuse of your personal identity is your password. So it's important that you use passwords that are strong be sure to use different passwords for different accounts. Examples are provided in the password guidelines available in the resource pack. Never share your passwords with anyone, including IT. Remember, this is your personal identity you're protecting, and you may be held responsible for anything done within your network login. Information security is everyone's responsibility. We must all remain vigilant. We're counting on you to make security-minded decisions every day so we can continue to deliver important health services to the people of New South Wales. Don't be afraid to raise any suspected security concerns or incidents with your manager or supervisor. Alternatively, you can report them through the security portal on the intranet or directly to the security management group. They're here to support you. Now please, take time to read through the information pack Familiarise yourself with these resources and then complete the questionnaire that came with this video. Thank you for watching and remember, stay secure.